Welcome to this interesting question. Given to us is a square with side length 6 cm. The square is divided in two triangles with the help of diagonals. In top triangle a circle is drawn and in bottom one a semicircle is drawn. With the given data we have to find the distance between the centers of this circle and semicircle or we have to find value of x. Let's check the solution. We'll solve it in three steps. In first step we'll find the radius of the semicircle. The second step we'll find the length of DO and finally we'll find the length of PO. So first let's find the length radius of this semicircle. Let's consider the triangle DAB. So this is an isosceles right angle triangle. The length of sides are 6 and 6 cm. Thus by Pythagoras theorem the length of DB that will be 6 root 2 cm. Now in this semicircle your DA and DB these are the tangents and by theorem this external point D and the center the line joining them will bisect this angle D. So here if this angle is alpha degrees then this angle will also be alpha degrees. So in this triangle DAB applying angular bisector theorem we get the ratio of sides that is DA upon DB. This ratio of side will be equal to AO upon BO. Putting the values here, so DA is 6 and DB is 6 root 2. So we get 6 upon 6 root 2 is R upon OB. Solving it, we'll get value of OB as root 2 R. So this length OB is root 2 R. So here we are getting R plus root 2 R is 6 and solving it will get value of r as 6 upon root 2 plus 1 centimeter simplifying it this is 6 times of root 2 minus 1 centimeter now let's find the length of do to get length of do let's consider the triangle dao it's a right angle triangle so let's apply pythagoras theorem in this putting the values here where DA is 6 and AO that's the radius of semicircle which is 6 times of root 2 minus 1. Now here squaring and opening the bracket on the left side will get equation as this. Simplifying it will get value of DO square as 144 minus 72 root 2. So we'll use this value later on. Now let's join here DP. Now again we have got these are the two tangents are there from the external point D and by theorem this length DP will bisect this angle D here. So if this angle on top is beta degrees then this angle will also be beta degrees here. Now together if you will see 2 beta plus 2 alpha that's 90 degree. So alpha plus beta degree that is nothing but 45 degrees. Now here let's join CP. Now again C is an external point and these two that is CD and CB are the tangents. So by theorem CP will bisect this angle. So each angle here will be 45 degrees. Also we know that the diagonal of the square and the side makes an angle of 45 degrees. So basically if we'll extend CP this is nothing but diagonal of the square and this angle here that's nothing but 45 degrees. Now if we'll consider OP now if OP is a chord then it's subtending angle of 45 degrees at point D and point A. So by theorem if a line segment is subtending two equal angles then all these four points that is point O, P, D and A they will be concyclic. So they lie on the same circle. So let's draw a circle which is passing through point D, P, O and A. Now here in this circle your AOPD it's a cyclic quadrilateral where angle A this is an angle of square so this angle is 90 degree as opposite angles are supplementary thus angle P here is also 90 degrees. So if we will consider the triangle DPO so in this we have got 45 degree angle and 90 degree angle and thus this remaining angle here that will be 45 degrees. So it's basically an isosceles right angle triangle as OP length is x centimeter thus DP length that will also be x centimeter. Applying Pythagoras theorem here 
and putting the values of PD and PO as x centimeter and DO square from here the first equation we can put value of DO square solving it we'll get 2x square is 144 minus 72 root 2 and dividing by 2 on both side now taking square root we'll get value of x as 6 times of square root of 2 minus root 2 centimeter and that's our answer i hope you enjoyed the solution i will see you in next video till then tata bye bye